in the past I've been very critical about electronic aids on adventure bikes. Ah, BBS! <laughs> BBS! Jesus! On paved roads, they help, yes, they save lives, yes, I'm not questioning that, but off-road I always felt they were a bit meh. A good example of an adventure bike that is not very good in off-road electronics is the 2019 KTM 390 Adventure. I made a whole video about it, so if you want to see me really frustrated, go and check it out. Well, but times change, things get better and some adventure motorcycles simply take the off-road side of adventure a bit more seriously. And the Northern is a very good example of that. So let's see what makes it so different. Hello adventurers, my name is Diogo Guerra and this is Off-Road, of course. In my opinion, the Northern strikes a very good balance between having enough electronics to feel like a modern bike without getting so complex that it becomes annoying. Instead of having 700 buttons scattered around the handlebar, some to push, some to twist, some that you need a secret handshake to operate, everything on the Northern is managed by these four buttons. Up, down, set and go back. I have seen more complexity on toasters. The menus themselves are simple and very visual, like a children's book. And although you have access to a fairly good amount of information and personalization options, the only things that really matter are all in here. Motorcycle. Easy. Here you have three basic riding modes. Street mode, rain mode and off-road mode. And despite the mode you choose, you can manually switch on or off three key features. The rear wheel ABS, the traction control and the easy shifter. Like the names imply, street mode is for high traction environments. Rain mode is to help you survive slippery wet roads. And the off-road mode is to help you ride the fine line between having fun and getting eaten alive by 105 frenzied horses. As an extra, you can also buy the Explorer mode, which allows you to fine-tune and create your own settings. Some people say it's totally worth it, I haven't tried it, so I'm not sure. The first good thing, perhaps the best thing about the Northern, is that the modes and the options do not reset every time you restart the engine. This is a proper adventure bike, that will feel happy spending the entire day riding off-road so it does not try to shepherd you back to street mode every five minutes. But what exactly happens when you turn on the off-road mode? Well, first the engine becomes a little bit more docile. It feels a bit more elastic, not so sharp and abrupt, and that makes it more controllable and it helps you keep traction. The engine braking will also be affected. You can shift down more abruptly, like preparing for a turn, and the engine won't have such a tendency to lock the rear wheel. It's a nice and useful little trick. It also helps when going down long and slippery hills. You can set the bike in second or third gear and let the engine smoothly do all the braking for you. The traction control also does a very good job in my opinion, so I keep it on almost every time. In off-road mode, it lets the rear wheel spin twice as fast as the front one which means you get a very decent amount of unrestricted skidding. From time to time you will see the TC light blinking and feel the engine kind of trimming down a little bit, but it does so in such an efficient and inconspicuous way that I never perceived it as a bad thing messing up my riding style. But that's my point of view, maybe people that ride even faster and more aggressively will perhaps disagree. Speaking of which, I don't think this kind of traction control will be of much help for a slow rider that rides very conservatively all the time. It feels more like a thing that will help a medium or a fast rider to keep the things under control and to be a little bit more efficient. On the sand it also works, you see the TC light blinking all the time and you feel the traction control trying to do its thing. And I'm not exactly sure if it's helping me a little or hindering me a little, but 
the bike keeps moving forward, I never had any issues, so I would say it works. Just to make sure we are all on the same page, the ABS is a system that does not let you brake so much that you end up locking your wheels. If it detects that the wheels are stopping, it will ease the brakes a little bit, thus keeping the wheel spinning and maintaining your traction. That's it. In the Northern it is impossible to turn off the ABS for the front wheel, but honestly I don't think I know any rider who would want to do that. The experienced ones already know they cannot let the front wheel lock up, so 99.9% .9 of the times they will not even remember the ABS is there. As for novice riders, well, the ABS lets them use the front brake with more confidence, thus braking faster, which is always a good thing. As for the rear wheel ABS, I don't like it and I always turn it off. You see, the rear brake, with or without ABS, it's a bit useless when it comes to stopping the bike. So, 20 km an hour, I will lock the rear brake with ABS on. You see, I, I'm, I'm braking like this is... Uh, I'm braking as much as I can, guys, look. It, it, it just... Uh, I'm finally stopping now. I was a hundred percent brake all of these like 30 meters to go from 20 k's an hour to zero. This is ridiculous. Again, the ABS is still on, but this time I will brake with both brakes. So I'll use the front brake as well, 20 k's an hour and brake. <laughs> See the difference? I ended up like down there. Yeah, so there's the difference. Because it's so useless, most riders will learn to use the rear brake mostly as a way to set the bike in certain positions or to do certain maneuvers. On the other hand, using the ABS will render most of these techniques impossible. These are only a few examples, there are other specific situations where the rear wheel ABS becomes a pain in the butt, and that's why I choose not to use it. Anyway, I could be wrong, but from my perspective, the rear wheel ABS is only useful to very inexperienced riders. Those who often complain that they cannot feel the brake pedal when they are using the off-road boots. The ABS will make things apparently easier for them, but at the same time it will prevent them from learning initial and very basic off-road skills that they will definitely need. And also it will give them a wrong notion of how things work. And I believe that sooner or later that will bite them in the ass. And, and it's raining again. God damn it! God damn it! I didn't sign up for this! As a final thought, I want to remember you that these things change all the time. And what is true for the Northern today might not be true for the next update of this bike or for any other bike. So always remember to do your homework before you buy a motorcycle or before you ride your own. Read the manual and do all that. Well, I hope you guys learned something today, and if so, please don't forget to like, to subscribe, to hit the thingy, and to share. See you next week, and happy rides!